Shh, knife, 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 where, 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 spot, ra, 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 ra. Dum, 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 Oh, well, hello there, boys and girls. Jason Voorhees here. I would like to address a few things here. I am not wearing panties over my face right now. This is actually a face mask. So that way, I do not contract the you-know-what. I can't say it on YouTube, but you know what it's for. So, now that that's out of the way, I would like to thank Metal Complex for the shout-out yesterday, and welcome all you new subscribers here to the Knife Whispers channel. With all that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Peace. Dum 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 dum. Where did I put my machete? Dum 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 dum. I'll be home with bells on. Trim the tree and wrap the presents. Turn the Christmas music on. This Christmas I'll be home with bells on. Oh boy, how am I going to explain this one? Well, I guess I won't. Hey, boys and girls, guess what? I totally blew the whole 30-day quick knife fact challenge, didn't I? I missed two days in a row, and I really don't have a good excuse for it, so shame on me. So what we're going to do is I still, I'm still going to do the quick knife facts, but I'll just, I'll just put them in randomly, and because um, I actually have some reviews coming up, and one I would like to give you a quick peek of today. Look at this monstrosity. It is huge. This, see if I can open it here. Oh, that thing is like a pocket sword, guys. I have large hands, and look at this thing. I haven't done the measurements on this, but I believe we're working with a, just about a six inch blade here. Okay, probably at least that. And it's all titanium. This is a custom, and this bad boy, was sent to me through the Apex Pass Around, owned by Kyle, I don't know if you see his last name right, Kyle Lamphere, um, I think Kyle Lamphere, and um, it is an Old Dominion Knife Works. Here's the card. It is the Lycan Slenderman Hybrid, is the model. Steel is AEBL, and it is a battle stone wash finish. And it was born in July of 2020. So be on the lookout for this one in the next couple days. So I can send it out to the next guys. Okay. So today's quick knife fact. I know you guys will like this one. Everybody loves it. Micarta. Woo! That's right. Micarta. Now, let me... um throw some facts at you, and I'm going to pretend that I'm not reading it off a piece of paper, okay? Now, micarta is a brand name for composites of linen, canvas, paper, fiberglass, and other fabric in a thermo-setting plastic, okay? That sounds very technical, thermo-setting. I don't know what that is, but that is what I have uh, dug up in my extensive uh, my extensive, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, research. Okay. And it was, um, originally used in electrical and decorative applications. My Carta was developed by George Westinghouse. Now, a lot of you might have heard of, um, Westinghouse, my Carta and the stuff is, um, it's, there's not much of it left anymore. You know, it's like, you'll find it in a lot of, uh, customs, a lot of expensive knives. Um, it's very, very highly sought after. It's beautiful stuff, you know. Um, just amazing, okay. So it was invented by George Westinghouse. And it was believed to first be used in 1910 using phenolic or phenolic resins. These resins were used to impregnate, impregnate, um... Sorry, I just got an itch right here. Impregnate 
paper and cotton fabric with cured no paper and cotton fabric which were cured under high pressure and high temperatures to produce the laminates okay now what are the pros of micarta well let me tell you it is fair, fairly durable and light it gives a great texture especially to like what we know it for like knife handles it gives a lot more texture in your handles than like um, carbon fiber does or G10 uh, of course you can mill that stuff too but um, in its natural state micarta just is more porous it gives more texture so you have a better grip in a knife handle and um, it, it adds like a warmth to the to the um, it has like an inherent warmth to it so you know like like especially in the winter when you pull out your titanium knife or even your G10 sometimes you go to grab and it's cold okay and um, micarta is great with absorbing heat from your body when it's in your pocket okay and um, so that is one of its many many pros okay how about a con in knife handles it needs to be reinforced okay it's not as strong Heart, hardness wise I guess is um, as uh, carbon fiber is when you go to flex it micarta will have a lot more give than uh, than carbon fiber does okay so it has to be reinforced with like steel liners um, carbon fiber you can have just just two slabs of carbon fiber handles without reinforcing it a lot of people still do it but you don't have to with carbon fiber and um, and it also can be hard to clean micarta because it is porous, so it will absorb your oils from your hands and whatever else gets on it. And, um, you know, it'll suck up any stains or oils, and that can be a pain to clean. Of course, you can clean it. But it can also be a, a pro because a lot of people like that those stains and it absorbing, you know, the oils from your hands because it becomes yours. It gives it that, that um, patina look, you know what I mean? just in my car instead of copper or brass and that way it's your knife you know no other somebody else's my car knife is going to be totally different because the oils in their hands is either less or more or different than yours and you know a lot of people like that it's their signature of their knife so um that is our quick lesson today in my carta and again i would like to thank all my new subs and i hope you guys stick around for all these fun shenanigans that uh, I will torture you through. And you might learn a little something. You might know all this. And that's fine. But we're going to have fun with it. And I promise to bring great reviews to you. And laughs. And I also will be um, having conversations with my co-host here. Mr. Voorhees. You want to do a quick one? Okay. Oh, hey guys. Hope to see you in many, many more videos. And I thank you for your time. And we got the flex. We got the hug. And we got the, I'll see you in the next one. We'll see you in the next one, boys and girls. Peace.